Now at 11, settlement reached. We're hearing from the state's Commerce Secretary on the latest developments in the 38 Studios saga. About $42 million has been recovered as part of several ongoing lawsuits, 26 million of which was secured today. The terms of this agreement were filed in Superior Court, but still need final approval. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom is live in Providence now with the new details. 38 Studios cost taxpayers about $90 million. This settlement stems from a lawsuit started by the Chafee administration against the architects of the deal. A new settlement between the state and two major banks, Wells Fargo and Barclays. The state is set to accept nearly $26 million after a lawsuit in the failed 38 Studios deal. That's money that uh, is, on a gross basis, nearly half of the state's moral obligation and we're still in pursuit of the other defendants in this case. The state's Commerce Secretary, Stephen Pryor, says they've now recovered more than $42 million in three separate settlements with multiple defendants. The state took the latest settlement in exchange for dropping litigation against the banks. A spokesman for Wells Fargo says they aren't admitting liability, adding it's in their shareholders' best interest to minimize the risk that comes with a lengthy court battle. The governor has promised that we will pursue vigorously as much of the taxpayers' money that would otherwise be lost to try to recover it for Rhode Island, and that's what we're doing. There's now the question of whether it was worth going after the banks. Yes, the state got back about $26 million, but at a cost. Legal fees and other expenses total about $4 million. Well, uh, there always are legal fees in the course of litigation. Uh, what we're pleased about is that in investing in this lawsuit, which uh, was initiated under the previous administration, but in vigorously pursuing it, uh, we've been able to yield such a recovery for the taxpayer. Pryor says they won't know how much money can be collected in total until they're done going after all of the defendants, including Kurt Schilling. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.